what do the experts of EPNS use EPNS for? Like, what are some of the notifications that you two are getting personally? I mean, personally, I just uh, go ahead and subscribe to all the protocols. It also has become a way for me to discover new protocols out. And because, you know, uh, of course, I would love to see like all the notification and it just gives you more joy when you see more and more notifications coming. So uh, I subscribe to all of it. But yeah, definitely Uniswap, uh, ENS, uh, Coindesk, uh, they have helped me the most like ENS actually saved me uh, my domain uh, and Uniswap because you know whatever little fee I was earning I want to make sure that I keep on earning those fees so yeah those would be my favorites yeah likewise uh, for me uh, ENS is like top up there I don't want to lose my Richard or ever so want to have it forever uh, Coindesk for sure for na- for me now I'm tied to my wallet address and it's like uh, it's just like a feed of all the things that are happening around the world that I get right on my wallet uh, do- uh, public wallet address uh, a lot of DAOs like I have I think Bancor like I have like a bunch of snapshot proposals which are up right now for voting so a lot of DAOs as well I think these would be my top uh, uh, channels but we kind of have like a whole bunch of different use cases so people want to like try uh, notifications uh, and like opt in to services that matter to them whether it's DAOs, DFI, NFTs they just have to go to app.tpns.io and uh, just opt into the channel of their choice. Yeah and which oh sorry I was, I was going to ask which wallets have already integrated this that people can download and start to get these on their phones? Yeah, I was saying like uh, uh, we also uh, have a very popular channel called uh, Gas Tracker. Uh, it's not that popular now since gas uh, has gone down a bit, but it was way, way popular when the gas was so volatile. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the wallets part. So, uh, I mean, uh, the wallets part, we are starting that journey now. So we started uh, working uh, POCs with uh a uh, few wallets uh, and we basically uh, uh, yeah I don't think the marketing team is going to kill me if we talk about what wallets but yeah we started working the POCs out because that's the next step uh, now that you have notifications flowing up now that you have wallet uh, to wallet chat that is coming the next step should be that uh, it should not be our dap or our uh, extension or our mobile app alone so uh, so yeah uh, the SDKs are uh, done we will open it out to public very very soon uh, right now we just uh, are working with a handful of wallets to basically uh, make them our launch partners if you are a wallet and you are listening to the podcast probably a good thing uh, or probably a good idea would be just to reach out to us And uh, we'll make sure that your communication is all set up.